Hello, welcome to Radio Community. I'm Deborah Yar, and with me in the studio today is Buldi Manyok, a press secretary of Liberty Media. Mr. Bull, you are welcome. Thank you, Yar. So actually, I'm Buldi Manyok, the press secretary of Liberty Media, the desk man at the same time. That is actually me in nutshell. Great. Stray, go to our topic of discussion, which is, in your opinion, what are the ways in marriages are acceptable in South Sudanese communities. Mr. Bull, what do you have to tell us about that? Yeah, actually, uh, there are a number of ways in marriage is acceptable in South Sudanese societies. So first of all, South Sudan is multi-ethnic society. Mm -hmm. So, and there are a number of ways in which the, the intermarriage is really acceptable. Number one is the family reputation. So the family must actually be nice. It, it must be the family which is not actually accused of some bad things like witches, witches actually theft, theft and, and gossips, a, gossip. Maybe. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. So in our language, we call we, we call these witches a pet, tear. I don't know how do you call it in your language. <laughs> <laughs> in my local language, it's called kwekweit. <laughs> So those are the ways in which actually you must be accepted. You must not actually possess those evil characters. Mm -hmm. So that is number one. Number two is personality. So you must be a person of some of the boring characters. Mm -hmm. You must be hardworking. You must have some wealth. You must be actually uh, a good looking man. <laughs> <laughs> where will the ugly ones go? <laughs> they, they will go to where they want. Actually, those are the those are the ways in which uh, intermarriages are acceptable. Another thing is language. Language is one of the obstacles to intermarriages. Like someone has a, a song in in our language, hmm. so I will, I will sing without uh, losing the meaning. I will sing in substance without losing the meaning. It was like. So he was regretting why he doesn't even know the, 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 language. the language, Arabic and English. Only. Only. But uh, could have gotten in, the, the in, in, like literally, it's only Dinka. Yeah, Jiang language that Jiang he knows. language only. And so he's regretting that. Yeah, yeah, he's regretting that actually. He, he said that he has, a, he has gotten the, the lady from Mundari. Mm. So, but the language barrier was the one obstacle that Ooh, prevented him. Mundari ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so language is one way in which intermarriage is actually acceptable mm. in our society. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, you have mentioned three points of... Uh, language, the family personality. background, and personality. personality yeah. uh, okay, for instance, language is now a barrier because we are literally not from the same society, rather That's we are right. from the same nation. Yeah, uh, right. How do we overcome challenge of the language? Like, these are guy who, who have fallen for a Mondari lady, mm. and then the language was a problem to him. Um, for another person not to be a victim of such kind of circumstances. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, education is one factor. Like now we are in the modern world mm -hmm. where actually education is the key. So English is the first language, Arabic is the second. So education will be the one to, 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 to blur the obstacle. The okay, to go body. deeply like uh, English and Arabic will be like the, the, the most learned languages now, uh, of which if a girl or a gentleman have fallen for a certain girl from a certain community, like they can communicate with English and Arabic, Arabic. instead of their local languages. Yeah, sure, Is that what you're sure. meaning? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. You also talk of a personality like people of great figures, like those who are entitled to, to, to have wealth, those who, who are well recognized in the society when it comes to, to the side of wealth side of hard working, good looking and all this. What of the ugly one and the lazy ones? <laughs> <laughs> will will they be burned out like from marrying because of they are not good looking, they are lazy, like 
they cannot cope? They will actually they will cope because that the other society as well also they are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, coming to 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 culture now, like you know, like uh, uh, as we are as long as we are concerned, not all the communities have the same cultural norms and beliefs. Yeah. Like uh, from the society where I'm from, I'm in my community, mm -hmm. there are things that women don't do and men do. The same kind of beliefs from the societies, what do you tell us? Should same kind of, of things be treated as, a, as part of, of culture? In, in when it comes to intermarriages. Yeah, sure. The the from the conservative viewpoint, so uh, culture actually should be soundly maintained. So there must be no compromise according to conservative. But for me, I think there should be middle ground where that culture comes, uh, this culture comes, and they and meet. They, met. they meet on the ground. Yeah, mm -hmm. surely. So that one must be. Uh, maintain there must be compromise. Okay. Um, before we come to our conclusion, what do you have to our viewers outside there about intermarriages and how a marriage should be be treated? Like how should it be taken in in all South Sudanese societies? Okay, uh, to the viewers, so I have to tell you that marriage is sacred. Actually, it was ordained by God. So when you are doing it, know that there are consequences. So you have to go to that ground well prepared. But another thing you should know is this. It is not where he or she comes from. It is who he or she is. So you, you don't mind about the, the society. The, the, background, the background. Like you should just be be prioritizing your peace yeah, who, over who, the who society. Who she really is. Who she or he really is. She knows where she comes from. That's what I have to, 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 to tell the viewers. Then. Thank you so much, Mr. Bull, for your time. Uh, we have come to the end of our today's discussion. Um, to our viewers outside there, as you have heard from Mr. Bull, marriage is a sacred. It is not something that was made by, by us human beings, rather, it is something that was designed by God. And when it's coming to the society kind of, of belief or, or perspectives, we should take it as a, a sign of peace. Uh, like uh, two families coming together and making it, making two communities become one. That one is really a big step and it's a big initiative for only two people to, to bring the, the entire clan, I mean the entire community together. Uh, what I have to, to tell you as my last, uh, as my last <clears throat> point is we should take marriage as a, a peace mediation ground. We have come to the end of our today's discussion. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Until next time.